Now, this was a most peculiar case, or a bit disturbing, if truth be said. She was brought to me by, by her uncle. And um, I, I made the uncle go because I saw the young lady was uh, very, very edgy. She said she was off her food. And I asked her. I asked her were there any other symptoms. And she unbuttoned her chemise and she showed me. There was a very large, very red patch. It looked, to be honest with you, like a, a dog bite. But one that had been returned to often there on her stomach. And I said, have you seen nobody about this? It's infected. And she said that she didn't want to. And she didn't want me telling her uncle that, that, that it was there. I mean, that is intolerable. Well, I prescribed her an ointment. Um, a, a garlic dressing is very often good in these cases. And a little bit of silver to wear over the wound. Yeah, to stop it being uh, too infected. And then her uncle was at the door. Now I had a good long look in her eyes. They seemed small. The pupils. As one startled by light. I had seen this before. And she seemed preoccupied. As of a girl out of sorts. So I made the uncle go away again, and I got her to tell about her background, and she talked about her friend, uh, Carmilla. It does not sound healthy to me. I think, although that dressing needs sorting, um, I, I think I was right. I told the uncle that she needed most a holiday, that they ought to go to some place I, I, I think I recommended Bad Holtz, where the water is full of iron. And, to be honest with you, there are priests enough to sing mass, for it is more a priest that she needs than a doctor. Someone who can listen to her sorrows and give her good advice. Bad Holmes is the place, I said. It's only two days by carriageway away. But I warned him. If you are taking a, a girl there, or anyone, remember that in such places of bright light, spirits also reside. And I said it with such urgency. When the girl was there, but even more when she was not, I believe the uncle heard me. Sometimes giving bad news is a hard job.